In 2011, millions of people's lives were upended by the reality of climate change. In the U.S. alone, we experienced a record-breaking 12 one billion dollar weather-related disasters. The Climate Reality Project set out to change how the media was portraying the conversation around the climate crisis. Despite an overwhelming scientific consensus that climate change is man-made, Big Oil, Big Coal, and their allies have created the appearance of a debate where there is none. They have seeded doubt into the media's coverage of climate change. The science is suggesting that maybe all of this isn't really happening, or it's not really dangerous, or it's not really man-made. Turns out the planet may be cooling. The globe hadn't warmed in the last decade. Carbon dioxide is not a harmful gas, it is a harmless gas. To fight back, we decided to create our own media event called 24 Hours of Reality, a global live-streamed broadcast in 24 cities from every time zone. Join us now as we journey around the world to explore the realities of global climate change. The event connected the dots between extreme weather and climate change and exposed the tactics being used by the oil and coal industry. Leading up to the event, we made climate change part of the cultural conversation again, with two videos declaring that the time for doubt and denial was over. We asked supporters around the world to donate their social streams to reality. This allowed us to reach millions during the event by sending hourly messages through their Facebook and Twitter accounts. Over 67,000 people RSVP'd on Facebook. And on September 13th, we began broadcasting from first location. By the time Al Gore closed the 24th presentation from our studio in New York, 5.9 million people had tuned in around the world and spent an astounding average of 58 minutes watching. And through a combination of live presentations, discussions with experts, and packaged content and documentaries, we provoked a conversation around the world about the impact of the climate crisis. Over 300 stories had run online, in print, and on TV. Hashtag reality and climate reality were mentioned 57,873 times on Twitter. During the event, a new comment was added every 3.25 seconds. In the end, 24 hours of reality racked up 638 million global media impressions. Most importantly, we have seen a lasting impact in the way the media is portraying the climate crisis. Today, no one can deny that extreme weather is here to stay. We'll all have to start getting used to this kind of thing over the long haul. So the colds are colder and the warms are warmer, and the severe is more severe. The last 11 years of the 21st century rank among the 13th warmest in the 132-year period of record. And Diane, this study blames our climate change directly on human-generated greenhouse gases. And this is just the start. We have reality on our side.